Hey, hi everybody. Jane and I went for a little um, forage today, for a little walkabout, and we spotted this in the distance. I don't know if you can see that on Jane's phone. Okay. So we scrambled through all the yeah, it took some scrambles to get through, and we came across this, and that, and that. And did you cut one? It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we use that knife to cut that piece off, which now is this piece here. And it is actually we'll beef steak. It was actually bleeding from that bit. Yeah. Can you zoom name? into the paw there? Looks more like a strawberry, doesn't it? Mm. Is it paws? Yep. It's a polypore, which means it's, uh, all the pores come from underneath like that and it's, if you look at it it's like squidgy yep. it is it's actually young. called beef steak isn't it it's a beef steak fungus um something or the fistula bark we can get the we probably put that at the bottom latin name we'll put in yeah i'm not good with latin names okay so what we're going to do but we can't be anything else we're going to cut it up and get this to the boil which is a little bit of garlic and some onions and then we're going to slice this and um, we're following Roger's recipe. Roger's recipes. We know it's edible Roger's to eat and we know it's safe. 110%. Here okay, we're going to cut it and then we're going to simmer it for 10 minutes. So then we're going to try it, aren't we, Jane? Yep. You're going to try some? Clean it. I think it's thinner than that, Marky. Is it? Yeah, okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'll take that Did you cut off. the little bit off? I'll do that. Case, then. That is incredible. Thin. He cut it thinner than that, didn't he? Lovely. Do you want I can cut it thinner if you want me to. Try it on thinner. Cut that a little bit up. Yeah. Gonna slice that again? You can actually eat it raw. Yeah, I've already tried it. Did I did try it? Have you? I did, didn't I? Remember when we went to the uh... on a walk? Yeah, but do you want to try that? Yeah, I don't mind. Tell me what it's like. This piece. Mm -hmm. Tastes like mushroom. What in texture? Very mushroomy. It's called beef steak because it looks like beef steak, not because it actually tastes like it. No. Like we had chicken in the woods, and that actually supposedly tastes like chicken, but you saw it tastes like mushroom. So. What are you going to put in this? All of it? Or? Yep. Do you want some more onion? No, that's fine. Let's slice this down a bit more. So, the recipe. Roger's mushroom says cover it with water and uh, mad cats in the background. <laughs> um, simmer it for 10 minutes and then we'll enough. come back to that, yeah? You gotta go. Okay, a bit more water on to cover it a little bit. Look at the water's changing colour because the, like the, the blood. Is it? Go back into the simmer. Yeah, looks like a definitely doesn't it? Looks good, doesn't it? Okay, gonna get a bit of time. The recipe says a bit of time. Oh, look at all that. That's a bit. That's a load. You like time? I do. I might have got this up here. That'll do, won't it? Mm -hmm. That'll do. Okay. Okay. There's some salt and pepper. Not too much? Nah, mm. it's not, not, not much. I'm going to cook it. Yeah. And a generous knob of butter. 
Yeah. Reduce down to a thick liquid. Okay. Yep. This is what makes brown oak, by the way. This fungus. And the proper name is Fistulina hepatica. There you go. Ox tongue. Okay, all the water is dissipated now. It looks really nice, doesn't it? It smells yummy. Give us a smell. Come here. Yeah, it smells nice. Do you reckon it's done? Should we give it a go? Let's put a little bit in there. Okay. Looks a bit like slimy. It doesn't. I got it. Yeah, I don't know. I was, gonna gonna I was gonna say, but well, that's the recipe. Okay. So I'm gonna taste Proof it first. The pudding. So. Well, it looks a bit. Oh well. A little steak. A bit longer. Um. Didn't taste Not the bad. onion. The guy is lovely, actually. Beautiful. Yeah. And so. the mushroom. The mushroom is like. Um, how can I put this? Um, it's like um, uh, what's a cat? Uh, it's sort of slimy, but it's <laughs> crunchy. Do you hear the crunch? Wouldn't you rather just sort of like cook it a bit longer? I think I'd like to fry it. See what happens. Put a bit more butter in and fry it then. Try that then. Okay, okay. give that a go. Yeah, we just ran out of gas, so we're just going to change the bottle. Quite straightforward. Pop him in, put the lock down. Put him in, put the lock down. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> you, have to, you have to turn him off, that's it. Put the lock down, and then... That's a better frame, that's better. Nearly there. Yep. I think we should put some... Wine in it. Then no. again, then it is a waste of wine. Okay. Yes, no. Cream? No, we haven't got any cream. The last cream we have is oh, Sarah. Right. Okay. Well, we're just trying the actual mushroom, so I think it's better actually crispy fried rather than yeah, slimily it was a, satisfying. <laughs> it, was a bit, oh. it was a bit. We do like rare steaks though, don't we? But yeah. too crunchy. Taste number two. Hang on, hang on, I'm upside down. Filming? Mm-hmm. How about your left hand? <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> okay. Mm. Not too keen. No. Chicken in the woods better. No. That's burnt now. Really? Yeah. Try it. We only just fried it up. Just try it. And it's salt. You give it a go. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, not from me. Oi! Alright? You think it's alright? I'm hungry. <laughs> Chicken in the woods better. Okay, well. I don't know if you had, have you got now? No, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Uh, any comments, please leave down we'll below. We'll do better next time. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, I mean, you can, you can, as long as you're 110% sure and you've took advice, which we have, we've been on a couple of courses. So we know what's safe at the moment and we don't do anything stupid. Okay, cheers. Thanks again for watching.